اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم Assessing model fit In this session we are going to look into how to assess model fit Understanding model fit The researcher first specifies a model based on the theory then determines how to measure the construct collect data and then input the data into the SCM software package So this is the whole process starting with the model building based on the theory and then adding your data into SCM software package for structural equation modeling the package actually fits the data into the specified model and produces the results which include overall model fit statistics and parameter estimates now model fit is actually the feasibility of the model with the data whether your data actually fits the proposed model or not now there are a number of statistics or indices that one can use to assess whether your data is actually fitting the model or not AMOS will provide you with number of different indices but the most commonly used are these ones now each of these fit indices have got their own good fit or the cut off value for example for chi square your p value should be greater than 0.05 however this is very sensitive to the sample size so if you've got a higher sample size then there is highly likely that you won't get a good fit the next is gfi and agfi gfi greater than 0.95 agfi greater than 0.90 nfi and nnfi both of them should be greater than 0.95 cfi greater than 0.90 rmsca should be less than 0.08 srmr less than 0.08 and your average variance extracted which is a measure of convergent validity should be greater than 0.5 now there are different debates on which fit indices we should use for example in one of the earlier lectures i mentioned that this should be 0.90 for tli now what we are going to do is we are going to use a more liberal approach towards fit indices we are going to use 0.90 for CFI, for TLI, for GFI, AGFI. Now that we understand what the model fit is and how to assess model fit, let's assess model fit for our model using Smart PLS. Now this is my CBSCM covariance based structural equation model, and I am interested in assessing the impact of CC on OP. But for now, I'm assessing the model fit for my measurement model. So I've got this covariance here. Now previously we have had look at the factor loadings and all. So this is my measurement model assessment. So that is the reason I've got covariance here. Let's run the model, calculate, basic, and start. Now that we have got the output for the model, the first thing that we need to do is we need to check for model fit. Now once we come here, let's look at our statistics here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll copy this here and compare it with my results so let me go this and put it in here so now i will compare both of them so what about my chi square is it greater than 0 0.05 well no my chi square is the significance of chi square is here it is it is less than 0 0.05 so this shows that this may not be a good model but again the chi-square, the significance of chi-square is very sensitive to the sample size. Moving on, the next thing is AGFI, adjusted goodness of it. AGFI, where is it? It is here, 0.83. And it is required to be greater than 0 0.90. So again, well, we can say it's not a good fit. What about GFI? Well, 0.895 and it is, again, it should be greater than 0.95. So we can say, well, it's not a good fit and now moving on let's see nfi and tli nfi is fine well it is should be greater than 0.95 but these are very strict goodness of fit indices well there are other references that recommend 0 0.90 as well what about tli well it is approaching 0.9 so it is appropriate maybe in this case cfi 0.90 
well yes it is greater than 0.90 so fine rmsea less than 0.08 look at rmsea well it is quite higher the error of approximation is quite high srmr well it is acceptable so we can overall say it is a mediocre fit so this is how you can use the fit statistics from smart pls cbscm and see whether your model is a good fit or not thank you very much